Let's paint a dandelion today. So this is a 16 by 20 stretch canvas, so we have to have a fun background. I'm taking my mop brush with some yellow first. We're gonna do a little bit of a dirty sunset. Taking some yellow from the bottom right-hand corner, I'm going to do some curb strokes up, and then without washing my brush, go in with some orange and start blending it up towards the center. See how I'm sticking with that curve? I'm going to blend it a little bit, so taking some yellow again on my brush, blend back and forth with that line where it meets, and then without washing the brush again, go into pink. We're sticking with that curve all the way up. Go back in with some orange then to blend where the pink meets the orange. And then I'm gonna go in with some brighter blue. This is specifically called Caribbean blue, but I really like this shade for these colors. I'm gonna go all the way up to the top. See how you have some purple in there? That's where the blue and the pink meets. I'm gonna blend that a little bit more so I get more purple. Oh, I love these colors. And then look what I'm doing. They were really bright. I'm going in and blending even more with some of the blue tones down in the orange and some of the orange up in the blue. It's making it a little bit dirtier, but it's so pretty. As long as you keep blending it while it's still wet, you don't wanna blend it so that you lose all the colors, but look how they're all playing together here. I love that. So when you get it the way you like it, dry it really good, we're going to start our dandelion. I'm gonna use a medium pouncer, just a round sponge on a brush. You can get them at Dollar Tree, super cool. And taking some dark brown and tan, press down, twist, and pull up where you want the center of your dandelion to be. See, it's not right in the center, but it's a little bit up and over to the left. Then dry it and grab something round in your house. I just grabbed one of our dinner plates because I thought that was a good size for this size canvas. And try to center your dot as much as possible and use a pencil to get a little bit of a guideline. See that there, you can just barely see it. Now with a detail brush now, I'm gonna take some tan from that center and start making some straight lines out towards that round circle we made. So on the outside edge, all the way around this center point, pull some lines out. They don't have to be perfect, but you're getting the illusion of seeds sticking out of the center of your dandelion. The trick here is do not go outside the pencil line that you made. This is going to make it look round all the way around. That's your guideline, so do not go outside it, but some can be shorter if you want. Also, another tip, use the smallest detail brush you can. I'm using a size zero, but if you have smaller, use that. I'm even gonna do a couple lines coming out from inside the circle, but not as many because I don't want to lose that center point. Now wash your detail brush again. I'm going to take some white paint now and do the same thing, not going outside that circle, but adding straight lines coming out from the outside edge of that center circle. And I'm not covering up all my tan either, but they're kind of intermingled with each other. You can see some tan and some white, just making it a little bit fuller. And don't forget a couple coming out from the center of that center circle. Now taking a size eight flat brush, I'm using a soft bristle brush because I want the dandelion to have a soft fluffy edge. We're going to do short back and forth strokes with white paint all the way around the outside edge. Now this is your chance to hide the rough ends of your seed lines and we're also hiding the pencil guide line. So I'm going outside the pencil line a little bit, but it doesn't have to be a exact perfect circle. See how they are slightly uneven on the outside Outside edge. This is gonna give you the halo effect around your dandelion because all the seeds are bunched up together. If you've ever held a dandelion up, this gives that illusion. So I'm doing that all the way around the outside edge and you want it to be brighter white all the way around that outside portion, but you can dry brush in towards the center. Like see here, I'm taking some of the paint on the brush and just dry brushing it in towards the center to make it look a little bit fluffier. Now take your detail brush again. We're going to work on the front of the dandelion. I'm going to take some white paint and make dots all the way across the front of it. And I'm spacing them out pretty evenly. I'm not measuring it, but eyeballing maybe about an inch and a half to two inches apart. These are going to be the center points of your seeds and we're going to fluff them. So do that, do some even on the outside where the white is and then take some white paint and on each of those dots, we're gonna make maybe six or seven little curved lines coming out from that dot. They're always starting on that center point 
and then pulling out and down a little bit, like gravity is pulling them out. If you did the palm tree video, it's very similar th to that actually. Let's see, how many am I doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven or eight maybe. Um, up to you, it's okay if they cross over each other. And this is where it starts to get really trippy. So trust the process. Because you have those lines coming straight out in the back of the dandelion and these are crossing over it, it's going to give you the illusion of a full round object, which is really cool. So now how many of you think that a dandelion is a flower and how many of you think it's a weed? I saw a quote the other day that was perfect. It said, the difference between a flower and a weed is an opinion, which I think is so true depending on where you live. I know here they are weeds, but I think the flowers and the puffs are so pretty. I call them flowers sometimes, but I don't know. It's a difference of opinion. Just don't sneeze. Now, did you see how I dr blow dried those seeds on the right side? I am right handed, so I was having trouble when I was practicing with this by smudging them. So make sure after you do one side to dry it because it does help to rest your hand on the canvas just a little bit to help steady it. So don't smudge your seeds, especially after all this detail. I'm gonna finish these up on the left hand side, add a couple more on the outside, even though you can't see it, it adds a little bit more texture add some more in there. Maybe I am like nine or 10 now. <laughs> it's up to you how fluffy you make it. And then to give them a center point again, I'm gonna use some of the tan in just the very center of each to make them pop. I'm probably gonna make them darker later, but I don't wanna go too dark at first. I kind of like the tan because it brings out the seeds in the background as well. And I'm even going to darken the very center point just a little bit with some dark brown. You could have done it just dark brown instead of dark brown and tan, but I didn't want it to be too dark. So I just added a little bit more dark in the very, very center then. Now taking a size eight round brush, I'm gonna take some green and tan. I probably should have done this first, but I didn't want it to be a distraction from the puff itself. I'm adding a stem. See, it's not going straight down, but it's slightly tilted from the right a little bit off center and add a little bit of shading there and you can fix up the edge wherever you want. And around the edges too. Now this is kind of optional, but it gives you the illusion of the side of the seeds that are just turning over the edge. Taking my detail brush with some white paint and doing some lines coming out from that fluffy outside point. So some are curved to the right, some are curved to the left, some are kind of straight out. It's up to you, but I think that just gives it a little extra dimension, which is really, really pretty. So do that all the way around. And then I'm going to also take my detail brush and add some seeds flying off. This is always the fun part of making a wish is blowing off the seeds. So I did some dark brown lines and then on top of those dark brown lines, I'm also doing some white. And about halfway down from that white portion, I'm going to curve some lines out as well. That's their little parachute that blows in the wind. See one or two are straight and some are curved to the left or to the right. This is kind of optional, but if you take a crumpled up paper towel with just a little hint of white on it, like wipe most of the paint off, I am smudging the white paint off the edge of the dandelion and out towards the seeds, just to give it the look of them blowing in the wind a little bit more. I'm gonna smudge it a little bit more towards where the dandelion actually is and then fade it out towards the seeds. I think that just gives it a little bit of something, but totally optional. Again, if you do too many seeds, you can always paint over acrylic. So I'm deleting this one on the bottom. I don't like it. So it makes it a little bit too busy. Just clean that up. And then let's do some final touches. I'm taking my detail brush. And remember I said I was gonna darken these seeds. It was a little bit flat. So I'm taking some dark brown in the center of those tan dots and just added that to each. I'm also going to darken up my stem with my size eight round brush again. I added some darker green on the bottom left hand side of the stem and then some brighter green on the right. And then with the same brush, take some dark green and light green. I don't want my dandelion just to look like it's randomly sitting there. Let's grab it with some grass, pulling some lines up from the bottom of the canvas. See how they're not perfectly straight, all different heights. And as a final touch, because it's a stretch canvas, you have that flat edge around the edge. I did not paint around it, so I'm taking a sponge and just dabbing a little bit of dark navy. I think that brings out all these colors like a frame. And there you go. That's how you paint an easy dandelion. Hope you had fun, happy painting. Don't forget to make it your own. And if you like this tutorial, follow me for more.